Okay, back at it again. Um, speaking on you know the big topic situation that's going on the Trayvon Martin black leaders, what should we do and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna speak on it, and a lot of people probably are not gonna you know like what I say about this, but. I'm just speaking my mind on this. At first, first, we really don't even know the whole story of like what went down. So, we don't know the whole story. We don't know this guy. Now, granted, what this Chaz Bono looking motherfucker did is, is fucked up and something should happen to him. But, Instead of us marching for a million hoodie march, which I think is the one of the most dumbest things ever, what are you this? What are you accomplishing going to a march with your hoods on? What is that accomplishing? Nothing. That shit is not accomplishing nothing at all. You're just somewhere with a million people with, and I know you're paying homage to the dude, but there's better ways to do that. You know, set up, instead of having these buses to go to a march, what we should do is have a bus and try to go to where this motherfucker lives and just snatch this motherfucker and lynch his ass. That's what I think. That's what I think should happen. If we really want to do some shit about it, not just get it put on a jacket, put a hood on, and just march and just play tribute. This shit is so stupid. We always do some of the stupidest things to remember our own people. Shit is ridiculous. White people, again, are laughing at us. Because why? We do some of the most dumbest things to fuck ourselves over and this is what and I know this is an innocent this is an innocent kid that you know it just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time but this is another thing I must ask if this if this kid was in a store with a hood on here's my question what the fuck are you doing with a hood a hood on into a store anyway? In Florida where majority of the time it's hot as hell. So you 70, 80 degrees you're wearing a hood. Shit shit just doesn't make sense to me. It it just doesn't make sense to me. It's you, you kinda ask them for trouble. So I can kinda see what Gerardo Rivera was saying because when you put a hood on you know if you put a hood on unless it's cold as hell and you ain't got no hat on or something but if you just into a store just putting your hood on you automatically ask for, for trouble especially if you're in a white neighborhood if you're in any neighborhood and you black but again once you a young black kid, you already behind the eight ball. But there's more things that we can do than to put a hood on our heads and thinking we accomplishing something. Because this shit has been going on for a month and they still can't find this motherfucker. This Chaz Bono looking motherfucker. They still can't find him. Now if it was a black person, if it was the other way around... They would, they would find this black person within 48 hours. Being that this is white, and again, a white privileged world out here. Because once you white, you will be all right to wipe away the crime. But we'll see how, how long it's going to be before they catch this motherfucker. This racist bastard. This ignorant dumb stupid motherfucker who just didn't have nothing to do but to kill an innocent kid and this shit pisses me off but another thing that pisses me off 
to not, you know, discarding this situation. But what about this shit goes on every single day? An innocent kid gets shot every single day. This shit is not new. This shit is gonna go on every day. What about I just heard I just saw a story about a woman, police officers killed this woman in Chicago. Just just happened to just kill her for no damn reason. Even in, in Detroit, where I, where I live. Um a two two month old baby, a two month old baby got shot and killed. Got shot and killed. And they don't even know who did it. Now they, they questioning the father, saying, you know, he might have something to do with it. But here's, here's what I want to ask. Not only just black people, but these black leaders. Why don't you choose not only, and I'm not counting this Trayvon Martin thing, but we all should do something about this. But what about these other stories that's going on? What about these babies getting killed? What about all this stuff? What about all this? What? Why? Why just this one incident that you just want to just be out here and just support this? Why all of a sudden this? Why can't you support when a kid dies, or when? Or what about the Sean Bell situation when he got killed by police officers? When he got shot what forty, fifty times, and you don't even hear that no more. It's just they just wash their hands on that. What about these other important things that's going on throughout the country? Why all of a sudden you want to pick this one thing out? You know, what the, the, the Sharptons, the Jesse Jacksons, the Farrakhan's. And, you know, why all of a sudden you want to just pick this thing? And I saw something about, you know, um, big outs to the Miami Heat for doing tributes and doing shout outs for this dude too. Because I know a lot of people don't like the Miami Heat, but since this situation, a lot of people, you know, giving their props on that. Which is cool, but, you know, my thing is, why you got to blow my team out on the process? You know, why you got to blow my Pistons out like that? But, you know, it's all good. But, these black leaders, I'm almost to a point, do we even have black leaders anymore? It's, we don't have no more the Martin Luther Kings, no more the um, Malcolm X, no more the... We don't have any more of those guys. Because everybody is so scared to do something about this situation. Everybody's like, oh, well, we doing something. We, we doing something about it. You know, we starting these rallies and stuff. But all these rallies do not mean shit. We still can't find this dude. We still can't find him. How, I mean, what's, what's the point in the rallies if we ain't going to do nothing about it? What is being done? That's like this Million Man March that happened, what, almost 20 years ago. What, what has changed since then? Nothing. So we just basically had a million black men that marched for nothing. Now, it's a struggle going on for black men. Not so much as black women, even though they struggle too. But they're getting their own stuff together. We as black men, we need to get our own shit together. We need to stop crying. We need to stop, you know, having situations like this should really unite black people as a whole. It should stop all this black on black crime against each other and all this. Because the real problem is not white people killing blacks. It's ourselves killing each other. That's the real issue here. So this whole Trayvon Martin situation should really unite us as blacks as a whole. Like, all this dumb shit that we fight about and talk about and how we can't get along with each other. We should all just get that shit out of our heads. Like, there's a, you know, we, we should all just be like, yo. Let's just end all this bickering shit so we can just do what we need to do as black people. We need to just step step up to the plate and just make, just have a civil conversations with each other and just empty out all this shit. Because the more, the more we get along with each other as black people, the more these white people are going to be mad as hell. Because when black people come together in something, in something positive... 
well, you know, white people don't know what to do. They like, oh shit, because why is it? It's like every time you turn on the television, you always see a black person do some of the stupidest shit, but you don't see all the, but you don't see the world to do black people doing anything. You don't see the doctors, the lawyers. The, all, all these people that got the good jobs, you always show these little hood rat, don't know how to speak English ass motherfuckers. You always have them on television. You always have the bad news. You already know what's going on on the news anyway. That's why I don't even like I don't even like looking at the news because I already know it's it's just bad shit. So you already know what's happening by. Oh, you, yeah, black person did this. Yeah, white person did this. But this whole situation, to me, it pisses me off the way black people are. Don't take this shit so seriously. It's going to, this whole situation is going to die down just like all the rest of these situations. Just like all the situations. I remember back in the day, this happened 20 years ago. This was like 92. They had a guy, um, Miles Green, in Detroit. Miles Green, guy got killed, police officers, basically another Rodney King situation. Another Rodney King situation, this guy was beat so bad by police that he got killed. So all of a sudden, the cops went to jail but they didn't go to jail that much. They went for like maybe a couple years, at the most probably, and then they let them free. Which is, it's fucking ridiculous how white people get away with so much shit. But then you're not surprised. You know what I'm saying? You're not surprised. Black person do something, they try to throw away the key on them. They like, oh no, death penalty. Death penalty, you know what I'm saying? But... We got to start up uplifting our youth. We have to start we have to start we have to start uplifting our youth. We have to stop portraying these stereotypes, these ignoramus buffoonery bullshit that white people like and that's you know making fool of ourselves. We got to stop doing that shit. We got to stop sta we got to start standing up to shit that we need that that needs to be done this whole Trayvon Martin situation ha should have black people uniting from now on but you still don't have black people killing each other you still don't have racism with white people hating blacks you still don't have these Ku Klux Klan buffoonery niggas or white motherfuckers skinheads whatever still doing you know what they need to do but nothing is going to change whatsoever we doing all this shit and even if you do and even if this guy just happened to get found and arrested or whatever it's going to be somebody like this the next day next month next year this shit going to still keep going on so we need to make a fucking stand. We need to bring back black the, the Black Panther. We need that to have black power. We need to have organizations that we that we that uh black people have. We gotta start start encouraging each other. You know? Let's get the fuck out of the hood. You know what I'm saying? Just because you get out of the hood doesn't make you boozy and anything like that. It makes you safe. You get the hell out of the hood. You want a business in the hood? You can have a business outside the hood. I mean, you want to be, you want to make money, but at the same time, you want to make be safe with your family and yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to go somewhere where it's safe. So this shit, the hoodie march and everybody posing on Facebook and all these other sites about posing pictures with their hood on their heads and shit like that. You know, at first it was kind of, it was okay. But now all this shit is starting to get annoying and now people are starting to make fun of this shit, like putting pictures of themselves and like, oh, all I wanted to do was just 
I just came for a drink and some Skittles. Not motherfucker. Not, not there's some black people that's making fun of the whole situation. How you gonna make fun of a situation when a motherfucker just got killed and shot for no reason? See, and, and you see why motherfuckers be leaving the United States, man, because of stupid shit like this. We, we we have a, it's like we make fun of just stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's ridiculous. A motherfucker just died here. Motherfuckers want to make fun of this situation. Black people of all people. You don't, you don't even see, you don't even see white people making fun of this situation. Blacks are. And then you wonder why motherfuckers don't take us damn serious. Why? You wonder why people don't take this shit seriously. Why should you? And you don't take, and, and we don't even take it seriously. So what makes you think whites and all these other people are doing, are going to take this shit seriously? If we're not doing something about it, we should, again, we should not have buses for joining no rallies. What we need to do is get a whole busload of motherfuckers get this nigga snatch him and and crucify this motherfucker and also too where's all the celebrities and entertainers and all these other people that care about this i mean i, I saw a picture that somebody had you know, with Diddy having one and Nelly and all these other, but what about these people like Kanye West and Jay Z and people like Kobe Bryant and Le and you know, I see LeBron did his thing. What about Chris Paul? What about Carmelo? What about Amari Stoudemire? What about some of these football players? What what about what about Michael Vick? What about all these other dudes? What about Oprah? You know what I'm saying? What what about all these black figures that so called care about the community? What are they having these rallies and stuff like that? No, nah, they're not having these rallies. Or if they are, it's keeping it on the low. But you don't have these the black unity that you have anymore. That's what's wrong with America. One of the things that's wrong, black people don't you re don't unite with anything. Shit. We can't even have a fucking reunion with our own damn families, let alone unite as a country. Shit, we got, we, the only time we basically can get along with each other is if somebody playing some Michael Jackson music, some James Brown, or something else. We can't, we, it's always, every time there's a black function going on, somebody always fucking fight. I don't know why. Picnic, but up. It's always something. But where are all these figures at to um, rally and do something and have a charity or put some funds into this kid's uh, memorial service and stuff like that? What's up with this? I don't know what the hell is going on. But this shit fucking kills me. We... We shouldn't even be going in stores with hoods on anyway. We shouldn't go in any stores. We shouldn't go in anywhere with a fucking hood on because we already a fucking target. You know, wear a fucking hat at least. And again, I'm not condoning what this motherfucker did. This motherfucker needs to be in the death penalty once this, he gets caught. Now, for a person to be out this fucking long... And nobody is looking for him. Fucking. Besides. It, it just fucks me up. Why this shit happens so much. Why. And we allow this dumb shit. We allow it every time. We allow a white person to talk about us. Uh, get on our cases. Say some racist shit, do some racist shit, do all this kind of stuff. But we never really take a strong stand in this shit. And we got to start having a stand with this. Because sooner or later, somebody, we going to lose it. It's, it's, it's already not enough black people in America anyway. It's a small percentage. So, 
and then the small percentage we are most of us are in jail especially black men we lots a lot of us in jail so you know when you ain't got no jail record it's like something oh oh you just think you better or something something is up you ain't got no jail record then something else must be going on we we, we gonna plan him we gonna plan something for him too we we got something you know, let's go plan some weed like or plan some some PCP or what they did to Dan Afro and trading places and shit do some shit like that but I don't know man I just think as black people we just need to reunite better than doing dumb shit than having a hood having a motherfucker picture on fucking shirts and all this all this other stuff man it's like can we do something positive for somebody for a change? Can we have action? Can we do something? Can we do something without doing something stupid, ignorant, ghetto, and etc.? Can we do something positive, people? Please. That's all I'm asking. Please. It pisses me off the way we do certain things and don't take too much action on it because there should be a lot more stuff to be done than what's going on here you know what i'm saying it should be a whole lot of stuff that we should again put some money towards the funeral um making sure you know the family is okay um you know just doing something do something and just put a hood on your damn head thinking that you're making a difference. You're not making a difference. You're putting a fucking hood. Any imbecile can put a damn hood on their damn head. But if you you doing it for a good cause, what the fuck is the good cause of putting a fucking hood on your head? What are you getting accomplished? What the fuck are you getting accomplished from putting a fucking hood on your head? If your ass is not fucking cold. What is the point? What the fuck is the point? I'm seeing white people do this shit, Asian, black. I don't know. I I I I, I just don't know. We have to do better. We have to do better. We please have to do better. Please. And shout and I love my black people. I do. But we got to do better positive things for this situation than what we doing. Please. But I spoke my mind on it. Um you know these fair the fair cons, the Al Sharpens, the stuff, we get they have to do a whole if you're going to base, if you're going to go on this situation, then you need to go on a whole bunch of other situations. What about the situation now that's going to Chicago? What about what happened to these kids in Seattle? You know what I'm saying? What about the stuff that's going on? What about what, what about what gays and how they getting harassed and stuff in all these other cities? You, you going to hold a rally that? You know what I'm saying? What about these these people that's getting what about these kids that's getting bullied in school? What you gonna do something about that? What about what, what about um what what about these these schools and churches and stuff that's getting that, that's not surviving and need money and need a loan and stuff like that? You know what about these libra what about libraries? What about all this other stuff that's going on in this country? But yet you want to put yourself in just one, in this one particular situation. You know what I'm saying? That's what I have a problem with. You just want to put it in just this one situation, but you don't want to do it in these other situations. When a little girl gets killed in a line of fire, or an eight-year-old down here like a year, almost a year ago, gets killed SWAT comes in and shoots this little girl and nobody does anything about 
I don't even think the SWAT and the SWAT dude is on Detroit SWAT on what is it True TV or whatever. One the, the dude that killed this little this girl that was eight years old or, or something like that is on Detroit SWAT. And I don't think it, I don't even know if anything happened to this dude. I doubt it. Well, it's a white dude, so you already know. Well, most white dudes do something. They get the Nixon privilege. Yeah, they just do like this. So, I don't understand it, man. But we have to just do better. It, things just have to get better. Racism is never going to die. This is something we have to... We just have to get used to, even though we shouldn't. But we have to get used to it. Racism, every black person has is going to go through racism. That's just life. Slavery... We could be a whole lot worse than what it should be because slavery had that shit worse. We we got it easy compared to what happened to them in slavery. So, can you imagine our people today in slavery? We couldn't last. We couldn't last. We couldn't last. People, black the blacks that was in slavery was the, the strongest mentally and physically ever. They ever what they went through can never ever we could never ever compete with that never never ever 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 we have a whole lot more than what they had so I just had to speak on that um I'm all that to have a minute man I got so much to, I got so much to speak on man but y'all gonna hear from me man so Peace.